Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing some more Caves of Lore. Uh, it's been a few days uh, since I last played this. I've actually ch I, I was uploading uh, a video of this every other day, which is kind of my usual for um, you know gaming gaming series. I've actually changed. I've, I've since changed that to uploading every day because a it's quite a long game. Uh, I think someone was saying they've put about 80 hours into it. But also, it's a game I'm really, really enjoying. So every other day, I mean, I, I have days where I upload or I record, you know, three or four videos of this in a row. Um, and I was finding, it, you know, it was it, a week would go by and I wouldn't be able to sort of really justify um, filming anymore. Oh, the ghost saw us despite stealth. That's interesting. So yes, I'm going to do these daily now, I think, and just um, be able to play it more regularly and, and show it more regularly as well, which I think is a good thing, hopefully. Oh, Arendelle took a big hit there. Merowen. Well, she can be a bit of a tank, so let's pop her there. Oh, that's a miss. Let's jump over this guy. 15. No idea what that did. We don't know how much health they've got. I'm going to get waxed to stun on though, that's good. Mm, um, um, I should be using this force push thing, otherwise I'm not going to get to seeking missile. So what I'll do, I'll do it on this one. Uh, this is still alive. Uh, what about the ghosts? Have they got a lot of HP? Yes. Ah, that's a fear effect, isn't it? Oh, wow, they're going for Arendelle. Great, so I can't do anything with him now. I can jump there. And when he's there, can he hit? Resisted. It's a bit worrying, this. Um... I'm going to assume they're vulnerable to... Well, not vulnerable, perhaps, but they'll take more magic damage than, than not. Okay. Damn, I can't move them anywhere. Let's try a panel. This is a little bit worrying now. Let's try a shock. At least that... I should do big damage. It's still going. Goodness me. Alright, well, let's. Tell you what, let's try a blink. We'll get Arendelle sort of out of the action. No, stay away from her. Oh, I missed. Okay, the ghosts are pretty resistant to. Damn. I kind of wanted. I wanted him to get towards one of those. Damn. God, they, they got vampirism as well, by the look of it. Um, I wish I could see health bars. I don't even know which ones I've actually put damage into yet. Right, let's try and blind one. Done this one. Oh, at least we got a kill. Well, I'm got fear as well. Okay, we got rid of a ghost. Aaron Dalton, heal yourself. <laughs> at least his jump thing gets him back in the fight. I want him to have a go at this one in case it's less resistant to physical. It is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna want we're gonna want magic damage on these, aren't we? Yeah, I don't really know which ones have already damaged. Oh, there's another one gone. Yeah, he's kind of, he's gonna be kind of stuck there, isn't he? Oh, we can attack in a line, actually, can't he? Let's do that <laughs> for five damage. Um, similar with a dog. We actually do. Oh, that's not gonna work. 
Uh, I think I'll come down and shock again. Uh, let, I know I've damaged this one for a decent amount. Let me get that one's dead. I jump here, but he can't really do anything, can he? So I guess that's his turn. Pretty tough. The Banshee. Wow, okay. Mm. What were these? Ghasts. Okay. That was pretty tough. I think we're going to need to camp, actually. Oh, okay, not enough room. Let's come down here. There's a zombie behind there. We, we can sneak again. Not that worried about the zombie, but... Let's have a little look at the area. Ooh. Not quite sure what the symbol means, but there's definitely one there. Uh, well, let's fight the zombie, anyway. Okay, there's a few of them. Um, let's just put some straight damage on it. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they haven't got... I think they might hit quite hard, but they don't have a lot of health. So let's actually just bring it down here. Oh, let's put the healing rain on. That'll finish that one off, hopefully. Uh, maybe I can... Get that going. Yeah, pretty easy. Errand will unlock Judgment. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Not quite sure what that is. Runic Charm, that is resist all weapon damage, 15%. I might put that on um, Rykard. It's this one. Max HP 2. Uh, maybe Arendal. Um A small burlap sack. Okay, well, we'll take it all. So let's have a look at Arendal's new spell. Uh, judgment. Rain instruments of holy battle onto unholy enemies and heal their allies. Okay, let's have a look at that. Deal four holy damage to each affected enemy tile. Heal three hit points uh, on each ally on affected tiles. Each, okay. Each infected enemy. That's cool. That's actually better than this one, because this, uh, on anything except undead, that'll heal enemies as well. So I think that's one to pay some points into. Very nice. Uh... Rykard, let's have a look at the new stone we found. Uh, so is that, is that the ring slot? What, what's this doing? Uh, we probably could use stone, use stone skin more, but I don't know. I haven't been. Arendelle, let's just give you a bit of extra HP. It's only a couple, but even so. Uh, cool. Let's have a little... Oh. Another one of these. So, oh, another one of these. So we'll do. We'll go around the outskirts before we go into the sort of uh, dungeon proper. All right, let's give this a go. So we won't do mega damage at this early level, but well, I tell you what, it's still not. It's not bad. I might use the force push thing. Just to, just 
just to level it a little bit, you know. Uh, skills first of all, 23. So what could we do? Um, I start putting into evasion actually, just so he's gonna we can actually get a couple of levels of that. Um, just so he's maybe being able to dodge a bit more. In terms of traits, shifty dodge bonus of two. That could be fine. we give him another proficiency, maybe? I'd, I would like to give him different weapons eventually. Um, maybe hammers might be good? It's kind of a sort of investment in his, in his future development, that, rather than something he can do now. Although, have I actually got any in... Not at the moment. I give him the shovel. Okay. Uh, this might be somewhere to go as well. Oh, it's another zomble. I think I'll try the force push thing again. Again, just kind of leveling it against slightly weaker enemies. Way, but I don't think it will happen. We can kill it though. We're going to do this and we're going to do it in this area, affecting all of those. That's good. Seeking missiles opened up on it. I'd like that. Oh, a small chest. I'll have a look in that sack as well, because usually they contain stuff. What does this do? Gives you a dodge. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's go into invent inventory. Have I got one that's like chests and stash, maybe? Ah. So, here I've got potatoes. Alright, just take all those out. And then maybe we should just drop that. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? There we go. This one, what we got? We got a root, gold necklace. Nothing amazing, but fine. And then a chest. Oh, what's this? Transference magic. Shifting. I'll look up if anyone has got anything like that. Maybe Arendel, what's she learning at the moment? That's transference, but she's already, she's already got it memorized, honestly. I don't really use it. We could have maybe that would have been a good thing to use against the ghosts, possibly. Um, but yeah, so before we go into any sort of tombs or dungeon areas, I just want to sort of explore the out outside of this graveyard. Uh, yeah, let's try a force push thing here. 
Oh, I didn't look at the sneaky missiles. I meant to do that. That was a, that's a mistake on my part. All right, all right. There we go. It's this crack thing. That should affect all three of us, right? <laughs> Balloon. I think what we'll do is we'll just take down this one that Ryan cars next to. Use it. Well, we can actually hit them all. If I put it there, it'll actually potentially heal Rykard. So I don't think he needs it. But I think this is. I think I'm going to like this spell. I think I'm going to like it a lot. Let me do a little jump on that pup. No, he can't quite. Uh, never mind them. Is it miss? Alright, let's try another force push. Alright, uh, I can just come down here and finish this guy. Oh, I've memorised that now. I'll definitely go and have a look at my spell book. Okay, got some stuff in satchels, leather cap, and some living dirt. Right, so let's look at my spells now before I forget. I don't know what this thing is. Minister of Wrath. Oh, yeah, I don't have the requirements for this. Enables magic missile spell to seek separate entity. Oh, I like that. I like that. So it's becoming a question of what do we, kind of what do we get rid of here? I do sort of use this this crack spell, but I probably don't use these other fire ones as much because they haven't been as a, it's damaging, you know, so I think maybe I'll put Seeking Missiles in there. Uh, let's put Wall of Force there. So once I've memorized the Seeking Missiles, I'll, I'll move this Magic Missile spell back to uh, maybe Arendelle to, to also memorize those. Um, just wondering if there's anything else I want to stick on my hotbar right now. Not right now. I'm sure. I'm sure we will get to that. Oh, I got a couple of um, sacks of stuff as well, didn't I? Oh, another one of those. All right. Four stash. Bits of food. Quite minor, really. I don't like these. I can't remember what these are like. That's a bigger one there. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's just keep using this. And level it up. Oh yeah, I've got a bit more defense than the other ones. Dogs do a little jump. Let's try the seeking missiles then. We want to level this up. Oop. Oh wow, you just you just fire it and then it attacks everything. That's cool. Uh, balloon. Uh, let's try and tank something and uh, stun this one. They're hitting pretty hard, it must be said. Uh, so let's heal some people in this area as well as a little bit of damage up the enemies. Let's do this again. Seeking Missiles again, I think this might be my new favourite spell. <laughs> uh, a big whack on that one. Aaron Dunn, I think we need to do a bit more healing on Rykard. Uh, Doggo, let's actually stun this one then. damage on the one that's not stunned. Uh, 
seeking missiles again. Thank you. Get that leveled. Yeah, again, let's try and put damage on this one that's not stunned. Oh, no, it's woken up. Uh, let's just do the healing, healing damage spell again. So that's that button. I heard the little ding. Gone. Uh, seeking missiles again. <laughs> there we go. Erendil's unlocked Lunamar's Breath. Rykod has mastered backstab. Not quite sure what that means, but I'll uh, have a little look at his skill and see if I can see. No, it's, it counts as a spell, doesn't it? Um, so backstab. What does it mean to have mastered it? I don't really know if I'm honest, I don't know. Uh, Erendal has now got this one. Revi- Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, it's going to be hard to level that because we'll rely on people to- well, I mean it'll probably happen and it's, it tends to be Rykard. <laughs> Seeking missiles on these lot. Who's that? Is that? Uh, oh, Arendelle's out of mana, so she can't do an awful lot. She might be able to get this one down. Or not. Balone. What would be quite like, nice for Balone would be if he got like a sort of AoE ability at some point. Hopefully he does. Or like a cleave or something. Um. I want to get her brawling skills up, so just another. Two level, five level. Very nice. Uh, small chests. Don't, we don't have any melee casters. Actually, we've got a bunch of chests and a shock orb. Uh, shock spell damage plus one, defense one, spell heal. Interesting. I'll think about what to do with that. Uh, but for now, let's level up, so 54 skill points. I think I'm still going to keep putting it into lockpicking, honestly. It's just so useful to have someone high level in that. Um, I don't think I'll just put all my, I think I'm going to put all my points in it, to be honest. I don't think I've got anything else. Let's have a quick look at the inventory. So what orb am I using? I, I mean, it is quite good having the fire damage, because I do have spells that do that. Whereas, I, well, I suppose I've got the shock spell as well, but it's only plus one damage for that. So I, I don't think it's as good as the one I'm using. Uh, a small wooden chest. Oh, I've got a lock picket. That's interesting. What have we got? A gem? Magic spell damage one, spell ignite. Well, that would work with the seeking orbs, wouldn't it? And maybe it would affect every hit, so that could be quite good. Uh, we've got scale mail boots. Uh, awareness three. It does go for, has got four armor. Uh, wooden star. Mana fire. Not sure what that is. Let's take all of that. This one. Oh, okay. Got a long sword. Ooh, that's good for the lock picking and flanking. I might see if Rykar can use that. And this one. Oh, it's trapped and. Oh, interesting. Cool. Uh, what does this do? Summoning magic plus three. Monster health bonus. Spell ignite. That might work well for Merowen, because she does have the summoning stuff going on. And this is just nothing. Kite shield. Okay, we'll take all that too. Let's get rid of these. Uh, 
So, um, let's have a look at the weapons. So we'll look at this uh, longsword on Rykard, perhaps. So this, is, this would be 8 to 12. This is 5 to 8. He would lose the backstab stuff. He does get a flanking bonus. Max damage bonus plus 2. Yeah, let's let's try switching switching to this and see how that feels. He's using it two-handed, is that right? It should be one-handed. Why has he not got a shield? Have I not given him a shield? I should I should definitely do that. <laughs> if I've never not already done that, I definitely should. Um Okay, we're gonna look at the scale mail for balloon. Scale mail boots. So he has, he has actually got them at the moment. It gives him more mana regen, whereas these more awareness. Otherwise, they're the same. I kind of like the mana regen more, to be honest. Um, I don't know if anyone else can actually wear them. Not at the moment. What else do we pick up? We've got some orbs. Anyway, let's have a look at these. So the magic spell one I might equip on myself. So I'd lose the fire damage. I think that's okay. I use the magic damage more now. This actually gives magic missile, so it might be a good one. It might be a good one for Merowyn anyway. She would lose this though. Mm. That's okay. What else have we got? Mm, or should I give her the, the summoning one? Yeah, maybe I will. That's kind of her specialty. Um, I wonder if we could give the dog... Oh, we could, <laughs> we give the dog magic missile. <laughs> we'll see how that looks. Um, and I think that's probably it for now. Quite a good haul, really. It's going to be a crab, isn't it? I knew it would be. This is a bigger area than I thought, actually. Um, I thought this was going to be like the main dungeon, but actually, it could be. I think there might be something up here. Okay. I mean, I mean, again, let's let's just uh, let's just explore all the outer area before we do any uh, dungeon delving. Oh, I meant to give Rykard a shield, I forgot. Um, let's bring, actually bring their defences down, because they're quite tanky. Let's see what Rykard can do here. Hmm. I'm... Actually, I'm going to do a ball of force on this one first. Save me. Oh, we can't backstab. Just hit from behind. It's for a whole six points. Uh, right, seeking missiles on these guys then. Seeking missiles again. Get that, get that nice and leveled. Uh, Marowen, 
I guess we'll go this one still. Is he gone? Let's stun this one. Missiles again. Let's use it as much as we can. Right card leveled. Get loads of money. So right card has a new trait. But in terms of skills, I'm tempted by evade. To be honest, we need him to be being hit less. But let's put the remaining points into one armed. Traits. Dodge bonus of two could be good. I think that's probably the one I'm going to do. Uh, I think we might camp, just um, recover mana as much as anything else. Let's let's head sort of southeast and then kind of work our way around the the edge. Ooh, I can't get down there. See these ghost apples come out at night. I don't know what they are. Well, they're ghost apples. I don't know what they do. Should we say? Another crab there. Oh, more zumble. There's another ghost there I saw as well. I'm a bit loath to get involved with them. Again. But they saw me even when I was stealthing, so I don't think that's much of a choice. I'm actually going to come here, because so I'm going to try and use Arendelle's ability on these all these ones over here, right? Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to use this on, on this area. That's pretty good. Let's get the dog to a leap. Very slow in the initiative order this time. Let's do a seeking missiles. Damn, my car's taking a lot of damage. There it is, level. Oh, a tam tam a tambourine, but it's called a tambour here. Right, we'll take those. Let's have a look at Arendelle's level up. So what are we doing with her? I suppose she's the healer, isn't she? So... I probably just wanted to... put it all into that, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't think she's got anything else. No traits or anything to buy, has she? I'm not sure about tackling that ghost. Fight the crabs. Mm. That's a big one. This is a wallet with balloon. Probably should have done a stunning strike. Oh, yes, yeah, you got stunned. Me. Let's see if you can miss again. It's obviously less effective the more enemies there are. At the moment, I'm mainly trying to just level them. That's a tough nut to crack that one. So let's bring Rykard round to the back and go back to 
Huh. Erendal, have a look. I mean, we should not do that again because these guys need healing also. Still not very effective in combat. I know they've they've got they've got more defence. These guys. Um, God, I might do that again. Putting on some heals and some damage. I mean, it's, it's what's not to like. I mean, it's, they're, they're doing more damage than we are doing healing. But let's just stop this one. Be it. Yeah. Never a win. Never a win. Sorry. There, she's memorized that now. That's good. Max has mastered takedown. I don't really get what the mastering of a skill does. So if anyone knows that, please let me know. But he's a has locked unlocked frenzy. So first of all, let's take a look at Merowen's uh, skills. Brawling, probably. Just want to keep her effective in that. Uh, she hasn't got any traits to buy. Max's new ability. He's got. Uh, where is it? Let's put, um, put magic missile there. Bit of a joke ability on him, but how do I? It's under. Oh, it's under ability. Here we go. Attack up to three adjacent targets. Take two bonus damage from slashing and two bonus from piercing. Damage bonus increase 50%. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Uh, okay, cool. It sounds like we wanted to run into, you know, amidst a group of enemies and activate that, and that should be pretty good. Cool. Oh, I don't really want to dangle with the ghost. There's another one there. I think they might go away in daytime. Can I dig that. I don't know what it is, but I haven't really used my new shovel yet. Can I use it here? Can I use it here? <laughs> oh look, I'm digging little holes, but there's nothing there. Uh, leave the ghost alone for now. Uh... Oh, okay, it's wandered off a little bit. And there's a ghast as well. Does look like the edge of the uh, graveyard. So it's getting to daylight. I wonder if these guys disappear when it's daylight. They do. Okay, well that's good to know. I wasn't a big fan of that last tangle with them. Not crabby, maybe. Kind of just want to get around to the edge of the graveyard now. So this is a gate, it looks like. Oh, it was a goat. Oh, I remember the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I forget what I do with it now. Uh, who was that quest for? Uh, return Zai to Tristram. I think, yeah, he's, he's a farmer, isn't he, in the village? Yeah, well, then you. Exactly where he was now. Well, that's that's leading out of the village, isn't it? So it's not there. That's not him, is it? No. It's a herbalist. Might have been down here. That's him, isn't it? Tristram. Give him a go. Zoe, you've been returned. Stay by my side from now on, will you? Oh, thank you. I feared I might never see him again. He was a gift from my mother and is very dear to me. Okay, so we've done his two quests. 
He's an engraver. I don't really know what the idea of the engraving is, honestly. Um, I think we'll go back to the graveyard now with that done, to be honest. So have I done sort of the outskirts now? Well, there's a little corner there. I, okay, well, we'll continue around in there, I suppose. So can I mine? No, because I haven't got. I'm sure I haven't got a corundum pickaxe, but I have got enough corundum to finish that um, blacksmith quest. So we should probably go and do that next time we're in the village, like we just were. <laughs> Pass on his turn. Merowen. He's a whack. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do this one again. And we'll get everything. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, now he can probably come in and finish one off. Me, I'll just use the CQ missiles and that should be it. Chest, fur armor, necklace, not magical. Uh, let's have a look at the containers that we've picked up. Ooh, got some stuff in here. Arcane ore. Spell damage plus one, spell blessed weapon enchantments, health regen plus two percent. That's actually better than the one I'm using, so that's really nice actually. Uh, pretty basic helmet, but maybe. Actually, it's not, it doesn't require that much strength, so it'd probably be quite good for one of our uh, people. Speed plus one, maybe? I'll take all those anyway. Uh, a couple of bits, not that much really. Alright, so let's look at the orb we found. So this is just straight up better than the one I've got, isn't it? So that's pretty cool. Um, and we're going to look at that helmet as well, maybe for Merowin. So the armor plus three, some good bonuses. This is just binding magic bonus, it's just meh, so I'll stick that on. She's got armor ten now. Uh, not as good as Balone, but you know, it's alright. So I think what we might actually do, I might go and turn in that blacksmith quest now. Because I want to sort of start the graveyard tombs from the the first one we encounter and so kind of work up where is he? He's down here somewhere isn't he? Is this the book? I don't think I've actually spoken to the butcher yet. Alfred Hayfest. A fine looking lad you are but you could use a few extra pounds. <laughs> May I interest you in some lard? I provide meat to all the locals and my best patron. Myself of course. That's how you know it's good. Only the finest quality meats come out of my shop. Mighty unfortunate if you ask me. Hardwin has had mixed results when hunting on the edge of it. When he goes at all. Nowadays I rely mainly on our livestock for meat. Another town maybe? Unlikely since the mayor says this is the only one. I had one once, yes. It was full of recipes, the likes of which you cannot imagine. It was glorious. <laughs> but those days are gone, along with so much of my memory. I once read a book of recipes. Imagine that, not having to remember everything. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, it is difficult to remember them all. I'm sure I've forgotten some good ones in my old age. Look, if he can make the wild boar even more monstrous and huge, that means more meat for me. <laughs> Say, with anything else, in Emerisk we adapt. I have no fear of such things. Emerisk. My family has lived here for, well, a long time. I think my family might have been important way back, but who knows? Nobody remembers much about the past. I think I heard of them once. Voracious meat eaters or something like that. They're probably just legends, of course. Goblins. You can find them out west. Cantankerous creatures. Always complicating the hunts from what I hear. Stay on the paths and you'll be safe. They hate to cross paths. 
I don't know why, but it may keep you safe. Blue light. There's nothing but fireflies around here. Beautiful creatures, but blue? <laughs> I don't think so. Scaffin. Name sounds familiar, but I don't know about them. I specialize more in cattle, wild game, and anything that prevents the harvest of the two. Caves. I've been wondering what cave rat tastes like. Meat is meat, and any taste can be acquired, but I'm afraid there just isn't the clientele for such things. Even so, I'd be willing to buy rat tails off you. No particular reason. I think we've probably got quite a few of those. Librarian. Well, we have a library, or we did. I guess we must have a librarian too. <laughs> I can hardly remember the names of anyone in town anymore, save my closest friends. In the end, as long as they keep buying meat and providing animals, I don't much care. Silver. Of course I've heard of silver, but that is where my interest wanes. Iron is much better for butchering instruments. Even stone is better than silver for that. Corundum. Hmm, no. Renault. Just another Emerisk family name. We have many here. I suppose we have a rich history, but I don't waste time on such things. Graveyard. We all go there eventually, but I'll wait till my time comes rather than visit those recently departed. Thank you very much. There are evil things lurking there, I swear it. I once saw the ground itself rise up, graves and all resting upon the back of some monstrous creature. Nobody believes such things, of course. I should probably have to kept it to myself. Wild boar. Some of the best meat you'll ever eat is from the wild boar west of town. They spend much of their time looting the orchard. If you would bring me some boar meat, I will add it to my shop. Yeah, well, that sounds fine. The orchard is west of town. Be careful to stay on the path. Goblins and other creatures, much more dangerous than wild boar, lurk in those woods. Family. That's what matters in this world. I can hardly remember mine anymore. There used to be a book of family histories in the library. <laughs> what am I saying? Acting as if I can read all the books are real. In the end, family is who you stick close to, whether you remember their names or not. I sell them some rat tails. Wherever they are. Here we go, we've got 42 of them. Uh, oh, she doesn't go up if I hold down, so I'm going to have to click. Do, 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 do. Yep, and a bit of money off that. Drop my bucket. It's like you buy food, but I kind of want the food for occasional healing stuff, so... It's fine, I've got loads of money. Alright, Mr. Blacksmith, can I get in here? No. Uh, Gorundum. There we go. It is... Oh, sorry, I can't remember his name. Uh, his voice. It's one of the finest metals around. While not very malleable, it is extremely hard. I've searched for it in many years without success, yet it was once plentiful. If you ever come across any, I would pay handsomely for it. One more thing, your average pickaxe will not be enough. I can, uh, isn't that the text for the quest we've already done? Uh, a fine hall, this will help the village immensely. If you ever come across... Oh no, oh, we've done that. <laughs> Renault... I think we've mastered that. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can upgrade our... Oh, we've given him our corundum, so the answer will be no. Um, I wish... Oh, okay, we can actually make it smaller. That's quite good. What's this we got? Sapphires, okay. That was... I'm sure that was the shield that um, Rykard was using. I don't need the money, and it doesn't. It's not like it's not like we're encumbered or anything. So, Rikard, why are you using this as a two-handed now? Oh. Is it to do with his strength, maybe? Oh, is that because its strength requirement is slightly higher? Oh, what's this? I've learned barter law. Good. I don't, I'm not going to read it all out. Uh, fine. If, uh, until we can level him up, that's what we'll be doing. Dodge. Hmm. I'm going to give him the dodge, actually. Can I fast travel to the graveyard, is my question. No. At least not yet. Feels like it's getting late again. We're going to be fighting the ghosts again soon. 
Oh, I forgot Max has leveled up. Or rather, I knew he leveled up, but I didn't actually do his skills. So let's give him... He hasn't got enough to level up that. No, we'll just put it on. Right, so let's go in... I'm not going to go in this one first. It just feels like that's going to be the main one. I kind of want to do these... Oh, here we go. Rykart first. That was a crit for 19. Okay. Let's see if we can just take these guys down. Ooh, a fury. Let's so uh, let's put uh, Max here and see what the fury does. Whoa! That was amazing. Taking a lot of damage. No wonder they, they probably <laughs> recognise him for the threat he is now. Uh, well, we've hit this one a couple of times. Let's try and just take this one out. Uh, I'm going to just going to do seeking missiles again. Um, okay, so Balone, we're going to want to stun one of these. Let's stun this one. the backstab on this one. Uh, we're going to heal Max. Max is going to come here and do a fury again. Look at that. That's amazing. Um, who is it? Okay, no one. Let's do seeking missiles again. <laughs> I know it's boring. I do want to memorise it though and level it up. That's kind of why I'm, I'm doing it so much. Uh, let's stun this one. Let's kill that one. <laughs> uh, let's heal Rykard this time. Gonna do another Fury. It doesn't seem to use very much um, mana either. It's a very good, very good ability. Seeking missiles. <laughs> All on one, though. Cool. So I want to actually check out abilities for Merowen because I don't know what that one is. What's this one? Uh, I think she needs to be using this more. Um, I'd like to know what this was when it's unlocked. So I feel like her her sort of melee abilities aren't the, not amazing. Max is really good. Um, right, yeah. So let's go into this one first, if indeed I can. Ah, oh, yeah. this is the Renault family catacomb. So let's stick our torch on. Right card, let's I'm gonna put you down here. Just so there's less zombies around. Okay, there's stronger than the other ones before. Max, I would love for you to be here. Can't make it work on this turn though, so let's just put you here. And we'll say stun that one. Balloon. Again, I'm going to kind of put you here to help out Rykar avoid damage. These are stronger zombies. So let's use this sort of beckon uh, skill as much as we can. Uh, Max could do with a heal, but I don't think he's going to get attacked. Here. Well, he actually will be attacked by this one, right? so let I don't think we 
need to backstab even. Oh, yeah, we should have done. <laughs> um, so I can't do the adjacent thing now that really makes a lot of sense. But, well, we need we want to use it, don't we? So let's use this thing too. Balloon. Um, this is where the AoE thing would be nice. It doesn't even need to be high damage particularly, just to like... You know, take weak enemies off the board. I'm going to do a Seeking Missiles though, because I should be able to finish off a few of them. Well, let's beckon this one again. And I think what I shall do is one of these. So they're good on the undead, those ones. This is a corpse shell, very nice. I'm going to have a look at what the time is in the video. Hang on. It's actually coming up to the hour mark, so perhaps what I'll do is just leave it here right at the start of this Renault family tomb. And when we come back next time, we'll delve a bit further into it and see what else we can find here. So I'm just going to say thanks very much for watching this episode of Caves of Lore. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm loving it. Um, let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea to do this daily. Uh, I, I don't want people to sort of get bored of watching them, but at the same time, it's a long game that I'm really enjoying, so I kind of want to you know, kind of keep up the momentum with it. But let me know what you think about that. And uh, subscribe to the channel too, if you've not done so previously, because that would be amazing. So thanks very much, and I'll hope to see you next time for more Caves of Lore. Bye for now.